Queen Elizabeth II oversaw 70 years of history during her reign. She also witnessed the decline of the British Empire's reach and power. Tanya Rivero joins us now with more. Hey, Catherine. So when Queen Elizabeth ascended in 1952, this is what her empire looked like. The British government controlled dozens of territories, plus she was the sovereign of countries that were former colonies like South Africa and Canada. The empire added up to more than 70 overseas territories. Now, with King Charles taking the throne, the UK has only 14 overseas territories inhabited by about 300,000 citizens and 14 Commonwealth realms that still have loyalty to the British monarchy, but independent governments that are outside of Parliament's influence about 28 countries in total. And likely that number will shrink because several Caribbean nations are considering leaving the Commonwealth. Now, instead, there is now the Commonwealth of Nations. This exists as an association of 56 independent countries to support democracy, trade, and the environment. It is primarily made up of former British colonies, though other nations without those ties have joined. His mother led the Commonwealth her entire reign, and now King Charles takes her place. The king now faces the difficult job of keeping the Commonwealth organization together while also facing a reckoning over the monarchy's role in the oppression of the nations within it. Catherine? Tanya Rivero, thank you.